Hey everyone, James Cratchy of Franchi.com in my warm kind of cabin-like hotel room in downtown Minneapolis. We are here for the 2019 Big Ten Championships to cover Rutgers, obviously, all the other New Jersey kids in the tournament. It's cold here, but not too cold though. Snow on the ground, looks like snow is going to come in this weekend, but fortunately, a great light rail system in Minneapolis, we can kind of get through it. So here are just three, you know, instant takeaways I had after the release of the Big Ten official brackets on Friday afternoon. The first and biggest takeaway I have Rutgers has received some brutal draws, particularly their bubble guys. Peter Lapari, John Van Brill, and Matt Carrenti all have first-round matchups with wrestlers who majored them the last time they met. Stefan Glasgow has Michigan Hammer Logan Massa in the first round. Christian Colucci's got Minnesota Phenom heavyweight Gable Stevenson, who's been on a tear this entire season. Yes, Joe Grello and Nick Ravina have winnable first-round bouts. Grello will try to get his win back against Michigan State's Drew Hughes. Ravina has already beaten Purdue's Max Lyon. But then they're going to turn around and get top seeds Mark Hall of Penn State and Miles Martin of Ohio State in the quarters if they even get through their first-round matchups. Those are tight bouts the first time around. There's no guarantee the Rutgers is going to win both of those. I mean, look, Rutgers has said they want to get five or six guys to Nationals. It's possible, but they really have to wrestle well this weekend. The at-large resumes of the Rutgers bubble guys are, are just not a sure thing. I mean, Grello might have the best case in the mall, and again, he doesn't have a win over a ranked wrestler. You know, it, it, it's tough to make a push at top 10 at Nationals, even with the firepower that Ashadol and Suriano are going to bring, if you only have one or two more guys there with them. So it, it's a big weekend for Rutgers. They can get five or six through. You know, they, they have the ability, but they're going to have to really, really push. You know, second takeaway, I thought it was kind of ironic, uh, Ashadol drew Indiana's Fernie Silva, the former D2 All-American who almost stunned him in the dual meet earlier this year in the first round. Uh, just a hunch, but I, I don't think Anthony Ashnall is going to need a third period tilt uh, to win this one. I think it's a match for, it's probably a, a good easy in match for Ashnall, a guy that he knows he's got to take seriously, you know, get through that bout and then kind of get on that path of the finals, which still looks pretty secure, likely a showdown with Micah Jordan again in the finals. You know, third takeaway, Nick Suriano, look, he's not going to have any issues probably with Maryland's O'Ryan or Anderson in the first round. Uh, he pinned him in the dual meet a couple weeks back. Uh, but it gets really tough after that, and I think the intriguing matchup for Suriano, we all know about the potential rematches with Austin DeSanto and, and Steven Michich. He's going to get Minnesota's Ethan Lysak probably in the quarterfinals, and it feels like forever since they've wrestled. Remember, uh, Ash, Suriano did not wrestle in the Minnesota dual meet last season. He was out, so Lysak took a forfeit, uh, one big against a, a backup. They didn't meet the Big Ten championships last year, but Suriano had a medical forfeit. So it's been a while since he's wrestled Lysak. He really dominated Lysak the last time they, they met, you know, back when Suriano was at Penn State. You know, Lysak's a very tough guy to wrestle. Big guy, long, tough on top. So I think that could be a fascinating quarterfinal to watch just because it's something Suriano really hasn't seen. And it's kind of that bridge to get to DeSanto in the semis and then potentially Michich in the final. So that's it for me for now. But keep it to NJ.com all weekend long. We, will, we are here in Minneapolis. We will have complete coverage of all the Rutgers wrestlers, of all the New Jersey kids, for other Big Ten schools competing, everything, you know, you name it, brackets, results. Everything you could want from your Big Ten wrestling enjoyment experience, we will have cover for you on NJ.com. See you later.